Hey Phil, how you doing today? I just wanted to uh, touch on this particular portrait that you're doing. I think you're doing an amazing job. And so let's go on, let's go over to Krita. So I, you see, I took the reference and put it here on the side for you. What I would probably do is probably enrich some of these darks, work on the form and then darken down the other areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this little value here and then what we can do is now this is one of the hardest pictures uh, that you could uh, pick because the fact is that there are real subtle lights and darks right here so let me make this brush bigger and this value okay the first thing I'm gonna do is just sort of try and describe the form now I'm going to go super light, so you're going to have a really good distance away. And what you want to do is just start describing what's going on here. So you're getting this darker value right here. You're kind of not paying attention. We're not going to pay attention to that value just yet. Same thing here. So you see, basically, and let me lower the opacity. Basically, we're just working on this area right here. This little, and then right here underneath his eye. Now, I want you to take your time as, as opposed to, you know, like draw this out with a pencil, like where you see uh, the underbag of his eye. We can say that stuff when we're painting a guy, when we're painting a girl. No, we can never say bags under the eyes because if there's a woman around and she hears us, she's going to kick our butt. <laughs> and I am just, just sketching. So I want you to sketch first with the pencil and then, I mean, super light, you want to go ahead and start putting in some of these. So it's like almost you're, you're ignoring the fact that all of this area is dark and you're just doing the darker areas. And then we'll continue that thinking here. So you see, we have this, um, this cast shadow. Remember we have form shadows and cast shadows. Now, uh, we did the cast shadow there, but before we go in with the mouth, we're just going to uh, worry about this cast shadow. And you see it doesn't go right up to the nose. It sort of starts a little bit under the nose and almost at the end of this nostril here but then it comes down remember angles fill angles are so important that's really gonna help us now as far as uh, his teeth we're going to actually do some measuring so if I do a straight line up and down, I will see that where, where the teeth end is probably where his eye begins and you have that perfect. And then the corner of his mouth pretty much starts almost where his eye, the corner of his eye is. So you have that a little further in. So I would say his mouth ends about here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to extend this and I want you to do that with the pencil first that's so important and always light you know light you can always fix but you can't and also the the angle so the angle of his his mouth is probably between uh, three and two o'clock and then you want to look at that triangle, right? That little triangle there. You want to make sure that you are getting that triangle correctly. So while we're at the mouth, so let's go ahead and see if uh, we are correct as far as the corner of his mouth on the other side. 
and I would definitely see just underneath which you have perfectly okay good job and also let's go ahead and continue describing some of the forms on this side of the eye because remember what we do on this side of the eye this side of the face we're gonna have to do on this side of the face so right here we have gotten a little dark. I don't know if it is, uh, okay. I can see that it is a little darker here. So let me just, now as far as the angle of his eye, it goes down a little further like so. See how this sort of goes down almost at the corner of his eye then comes over here and let's see if we can lighten up this area or make this darker area a little bit smaller and i can see you want to put in the eye the eyelid but it looks like he his he doesn't have folds of his eyelids they're so deep set so we're going to actually eliminate this. This is like our subconscious trying to fill in the blanks, right? So we want to make sure we don't do that. It's not easy. It's, you know, our subconscious is like, Phil, there needs to be an, you know, an eyelid fold over there, but there's not. And, uh, okay, so how are we going to handle this? Because we have a light and so we're gonna have to basically uh, paint the dark. Uh, but what we're gonna do is I'm just going to darken this just a little bit, this shape. So now we can come in with this light value. You're gonna be a good distance away, I'd say about three inches away. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill in this dark here. Let me make the brush bigger. It's pretty cool. You can, just by watching me, you can see how easy it is for me to go ahead and, uh, how easy it is for me to go ahead and, and, and just paint digitally. It's uh, really great. So this is like two lessons in one, <laughs> uh, you know, how to, work on this portrait and also how to go ahead and uh, maybe even transfer your drawing uh, into Krita and then work on it digitally. So, okay, so right here you see that we have this uh, dark value or mid-tone value and so you want to look at the negative space. So this, this wrinkle here is a good outline, a good landmark. Okay, so now we went ahead and did that. We can go ahead and actually use our light. Just blow this up a bit. And hit the L button to make it one value lighter. So basically what I was trying to say, if I wanna make the brush bigger or smaller, I hold down the shift key. And while pressing down on my tablet, I just move it to the left or right, and you can see uh, we can very easily uh, adjust the size of our pen or a brush. So what we're gonna do uh, with the eraser, you can definitely uh, erase out this little light area. And that is like a lot more effective than, uh, you know, trying to paint something that's not there. It's just really seeing what's there, Phil. That's really going to help. And let's go ahead and make it smaller still. And then over here, we're going to get this uh, sort of dark value here. Not too dark. But what we're going to do is we're going to fill this in because this is all value, right? This area here, you want to make sure. So you see where this tooth is right here. And let's see. So we see where this tooth starts, which is pretty much in the center 
Okay, to the left, that's fine. Let's just bring this value down here. And then right over here, you'll see how we, and always check the angles, Phil. And we're gonna, with a pencil, I want you to see this shape here. See how this comes down and then over. And then I want you to really try and find this shape. Okay, so you see how we're basically uh, looking for landmarks and then we're just painting what we see as opposed to, I mean, it's a lot of work if we were going to try and, you know, make up some of these, uh, like, like eyebrows and stuff like that. If we just worry about painting what we see, Phil, our life is going to be a lot easier. Remember, what we do on this side, we have to do on that side. That's just the law, you know, as far as, you know, painting a, a picture that is uh, cohesive as one piece. So I'm just going to extend this value here. The first thing I want to do is lighten this value. This is a little too dark here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to... You're going to be a good three, maybe four inches away. You're going to be extra, super, super light here. And you're just going to uh, paint this shape here. You see how you have his uh, chin coming down? Sort of the shadow side of his chin. So I think this would definitely give you enough work for today. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, stop it here and I'm just going to send this video to you and then we'll work on this tomorrow or later today if you feel uh, encouraged and you want to work more just instant message me and I'll, I'll start from here.